Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Vishali and today we will learn about PyTorch Minist and the following are the topics that we are going to discuss. Firstly, we will discuss about PyTorch Minist and after that we will discuss the PyTorch Minist example and then we will understand about PyTorch Minist classification and after that we will discuss about PyTorch Minist CNN and then we will understand about PyTorch Minist fashion and in the last we will discuss about PyTorch Minist load. So without any delay let's jump to the topic and discuss about PyTorch Minist. Here Minist stands for Modified National Institute of Standards and Technology Database which is a large database of handwritten digits which is mostly used for training various processing systems. The syntax of PyTorch Minist is datasets.minist and within this function we are using parameters. The first parameter is root. Here root is used to give the root to the database where the database is stored. The next parameter is train. The train parameter is set to false because we want the test set not the train set. The next one is download. The download is set to true because we want to download the data set. The next parameter is transform. The default value of transform is none. The transform parameter is set to none because there is a no transformation of data. Now move forward and discuss PyTorch Minist example. Minist is a large database that is mostly used for training various processing system. Now let us understand the concept of PyTorch Minist with the help of an example. Here is our example. Firstly, we will import all the libraries such as import dataset from Torch Vision. After that, we import two tensor from Torch Vision dot transform. And then we describe the variable train data by using dataset dot minist function which is used as a train dataset. And after that, we describe the variable test data by using dataset.minist function which is used as a test data. Now, execute this cell and you can see that our minist data is downloaded on the screen. Now, move forward and discuss about PyTorch minist classification. In PyTorch minist classification, minist dataset is generally used for training and testing the data in the field of machine learning. Now let us understand the concept of PyTorch Minist classification with the help of an example. Here is our example. So firstly we will import all the necessary libraries such as torch, torchvision.dataset, torchvision.transform, torch.nn and matplotlib.pyplot. After that we describe the transform variable by using transform.compose function and then we describe the minist train set variable by using dataset.minist function and after that we describe train loader variable by using data loader function and then we create our model class with the help of init and forward function after that we want to print our model with the help of print function. Now execute this cell and you can see that our model is printed on the screen. Now move forward and discuss about PyTorch Minist CNN. CNN stands for Convolutional Neural Network. It is a type of artificial neural network which is most commonly used in recognition. Now let us understand the concept of PyTorch Minist CNN with the help of an example. So here is our example. So firstly we will import all the necessary libraries such as import dataset from torch vision 
and after that we import two tensor from torus vision to a transform and then we describe the train data variable by using data set dot minist function and after that we describe test data variable by using data set dot minist function and after that we create our cnn model class with the help of init and forward function and then we want to print our cnn model with the help of print function now execute this cell and you can see that our cnn model is printed on the screen now move forward and discuss about pytorch minist fashion the fashion minist data set is used in computer vision and also used to evaluate the deep neural network for classification syntax of pytorch minist fashion is torch vision dot data sets dot fashion minist within this function we are using parameters the first parameter is root the root directory where our fashion minist data is stored the next parameter is train the default value of train parameter is boolean if it is true then it creates a data set if it is false then it does not create a data set the next parameter is transform the transform function takes in a pil image and returns a transform version the next parameter is target underscore transform the target underscore transform takes in the target and transform it the next parameter is download the default value of download is boolean if it is true then download the data set and put it in the root directory if it is false then it do not download the data set now move forward and discuss about pytorch minist load we can load the minist data set from pytorch torch vision the minist data set is used to train the model with training data and evaluate the model with the test data now let us understand the concept of pytorch minist load with the help of an example to clear our doubt so here is our example firstly we will import all the necessary libraries such as torch torch.nn torch vision torch vision dot transforms and then we import data set from torch vision and after that we describe the train data variable by using data set dot minist function and then we describe the test data variable by using data set dot minist function now execute this cell and you can see that our pytorch minist data set is loaded on the screen so with this we have learned about pytorch minist and we have come to the end of the video session if this video was helpful please like the video and also subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this one thank you for watching